A central feature in the lives of adolescents at this time of year is transition. From one grade to the next, or one school to another, from high school to college or work, and most certainly from school year to summer vacation. While there may be congratulations and excitement for what is next, there are also often goodbyes and uncertainty. Helping me explore the complexities of such transitions are licensed social worker Laura Stamboni and psychologist Douglas Katz from Arlington Youth Counseling Center. Welcome to you both and thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Summer vacation, you know, how, how can we help them adjust to that amorphous, that amorphous summertime? Well, I would say the first thing is it's okay to still have some loose structure, hmm. um, uh, some structure, some scheduling, but have uh, some variability within it. So, for instance, um, day camp is one thing, is that there is a structure there for, especially middle schoolers would be going to a day camp. Mm -hmm. um, it's a place that they enjoy going to, however, and it has the hours that are, you know, uh, giving the structure part, but the variability is they're able to have fun and it's not work, so that could be a nice transition for them. At the end of the school year, uh, it's not just uh, students who are kind of exhausted, it's parents as well. Mm -hmm. And so there's a tendency, an understandable tendency, for everybody to want to say, oh, we need a break, no more having to plan this, plan that. And I think that a little bit of that at the, at the start of the summer mm -hmm. is a good thing. But then I think before too long, you want to get back to some regularity, okay, some sure. routine, so that the kids have that predictability um, it might be especially important in a way because, as you say, the loose, unstructured time, while a welcome relief, can come with its own anxieties. We're heading into summer and some more spaciousness in terms of timing, if only through our kids' lives and, and their experience of summer vacation. Um, but we feel, we feel those stresses. It, what, can, what can we do that is helpful to us? Even as a, a, as a parent, if, if your parents are, are still around, kind of talking mm -hmm. about, you know, the old days and, and what, what they went through. And I think just also, I'm sure this has probably been discussed on previous segments, mm -hmm. um, you have to have faith, mm -hmm. you know, that, that everybody's going to come through this, okay, yeah. and it's, it's a mess. And sometimes it feels like, you know, how is that possibly going to happen? This marks the last in our six-part series on Parenting the Adolescents. We're aware that it's a whole lot easier to say it than to do it, but we hope that you found this of use nonetheless. We've posted further resources and welcome your comments at the APN website. I'd like to thank John Williams and Andrea Razzi for their previous contributions to the series, as well as today's guests. For Doug Katz and Laura Stamboni, I'm Peter Bermudez for Arlington Public News.